NASA scientists think there could be an ocean of water deep below the surface of Mars. It's a discovery that advances the search for life beyond our planet and suggests the red planet might have conditions that could sustain microbial life, either the past or the present. For more on this, we're bringing in an expert, Matthew Simone, the head interpreter at the H.R. McMillan Space Center in Vancouver. Thanks very much for joining us. Always happy to talk about space. This is exciting stuff. Tell us a bit more about what they found. So what we've discovered is, uh, and this is a team at UC Berkeley, they've been going through information that was collected by a probe on Mars called InSight, mm -hmm. and it can stare basically down beneath the surface using seismic information, vibrations within the planet. It looks like that deep beneath the surface, we have oceans worth of water down there, enough to cover the entire surface of the planet. And how deep are we talking? We're talking like between 10 to 20 kilometers deep. So this is really far down. Mm -hmm. Probably nothing that we might be able to use while we're there, right. but it could be a place where there's life deep, deep beneath the surface. And, and so what does this do in terms of our advancement about understanding life on Mars or as it existed? Right, so Mars, what we know, the surface of Mars already has literally the memory of water carved into it. So there used to be oceans on this planet a long time ago. If you go far enough back, there were two blue planets, at least in our solar system. We were one, Mars was the other. Now the surface of Mars is barren, but it tells us that a large volume of that water still exists beneath the surface, and it could be the conditions, as the team has said, uh, right for something to live actually down there, at least microbially. And in terms of this data, we call it a new discovery, but they were just going through a ream of old information, is that right? That's correct. So this probe had been on the surface for a number of years. We lost contact with it uh, about two years ago now, mm -hmm. mainly because the giant solar panels on it get covered with Martian dust over time, and it's not capable of recharging itself. But like all of these devices that we have in space, we're collecting mountains of data from them, and it takes time to go through that information. And teams that do so, they're looking for different uh, clues that they're trying to find that's specific to their research. Mm -hmm. So this team at UC Berkeley, they wanted to figure out, can we look at these seismic vibrations and figure out based on them, is there water deep down inside? It looks like it is based in uh, broken lava rock, mm -hmm. old ancient igne ro igneous rock in the crust of Mars. And lastly, we appreciate your time and your expertise. What does this do for uh, human missions to Mars, if anything? Yeah, so it's probably unlikely, even on Earth, it is difficult to drill down that depth <laughs> when we have a proper atmosphere and we're not worried about injury. For us, that's probably not going to be likely to help us as humans on the surface, mm. but it might be a place that we can look in the future to say, hey, if we could get down in there, there might be something still alive there, and maybe we could find a way to do that. Matthew Simone, we appreciate your time and your expertise. Thanks, Thanks for, for joining us. Thank you so much.